I remember when some promoters were going, you can't be off your head. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, Jay knows. We used Jay, to... Jay Twist, big up Jay Twist behind the camera. Big up Jay Twist. We used to party from like Friday to Thursday, you know? Um, and now I party once and tomorrow, I, I won't party like this. I won't feel like this. Like, honestly, I'm 42. You, you, like, it will hurt. Bry, how do you feel about this? I need to feel as old as the man I feel. <laughs> he just said that as well. Oh, so you're about 57 then, yeah? Yeah, no, yeah, nah, he's looking fine. He's looking fine. Girlfriend. You've, you've led a legacy in the scene. Let's, let's, let's face it, you were around for its birth. You were around during the heyday, you know, when it was really rising up. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it's so much different to now because people, like I just said before, people used to have fun and party hard. Like or, Brian. Oh yeah, I mean, look at the state of it. I mean, look at him, look at him. I mean, that face sells it all, doesn't it? You love younger, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, right. fun. A lot of fun. It used to be a bit, it's just a bit serious now. I'm being really honest, because I can only be honest. Like, I used to like go into a rave on a Friday at nine o'clock and not leave till six o'clock. I used to get well off my pickle. Even my mum used to like go, John, you're well off your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> And um, but, but nowadays you're not allowed to, and you're like, what do you mean I'm not allowed to? It's a rave, it's hardcore, like, everybody else is off their pickle. Yeah, it's about image, you're like, fuck Facebook, I used to do raves before Facebook and before all of that plastic. Rhythm Station. We used to just party and just party and party and party. Go to services afterwards and party. Yeah. We rammed up at the end of fleet services, a row of people that have been... I used to go and do loads of acid at places like that. <laughs> Should I just let you back get on with it? Uh, well, apparently that's not really PC though to say you used to do loads of acid and ketamine and drugs. Who gives a fuck? Uh, <laughs> but I suppose like MCs like nowadays are all about the rhyme, they're less about the host. I mean, one of, you know, like two, two of my favourite MCs are Ribs and Marley. Yeah, 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 and. Rib, Ribsy can MC to anything, um, anything, I mean anything. And then Marley, like, all right then, I'm good on the boom bang, but Marley's the best breakbeat MC in the world. And, and, and you had Nighty, and you had all those different styles. And they, and, and they used to, and they, and they used to be like individual. But two, uh, MCs are two a penny now, like, you know, like all the modern MCs, that it's all about them and less about the music. Like when I, when I used to go, I love Drew, he's my favourite DJ, he still is my favourite DJ, Brisky, and, and it used to be about the DJs and what they were playing, but now the MCs are bigger than the DJs and I, I suppose, I'll be really honest, I find that difficult to come to terms with. You know, because all I wanted to do was be messy and have a party. But now it's like, oh, I'm the MC, I'm bigger than the music. And I suppose that's why I decided to go. And then now, like, I just want to come and have, have parties with friends because I miss lots. And people say, oh, you're not retired. I am retired. I don't go on Facebook or big myself up or big up the raves that I'm on. I just go, I just go and have a party and just enjoy myself. I come for love and and just enjoy myself. And how was it, Jay, Jay just posed a good question, which was how was your transition from rave life to normal? Do you know what, like, it was really difficult at first because it's such a, like, a massive change. And, you know, you go from one situation, one situation, I was out all weekend and partying. And then on the Monday, I was running care homes. And then people would be looking at me going, what, Sharky running care homes? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, it's quite surprising because I suppose, I suppose that's what's wrong with the scene nowadays. People look at the name of yeah. who you are and they don't look at you as a person. I'm just like a statue. And I used to go sit in the crowd at Older Shop and no one used to think I was special. I used to just get off my pickle and, and party hard with everybody. Everyone was the same as everybody, but now as a DJ or an MC, you're above there. But that's not right. We're just human beings. And I suppose, I suppose the guys that I look after now, it's really nice because they make me feel real as a person, yeah. not some fake person, that Sharky or, or all these people going, oh, you're my hero. Well, that's cool. I tell you what, I'd rather be the hero of the guys that I look after when they're in trouble.
Um, when Whiskey said, we're not brain surgeons, we're not doctors, we're just entertainers. We're just entertainers, we're fun. And, and I suppose the sharky thing was all about, and it, it was that, it was built on that. It was built about bonkers, it was built about being silly and funny and mm. just being a bit, and, and being I, entertaining. Yeah, yeah, and it just, it just became a little bit formulaic for me, being honest. You know, like, I could only be honest, like, you know. So with a, with a rave scene that's ever evolving, ever changing, what advice would you give to younger MCs if they want to succeed in the new age? Don't listen to the modern MCs where there's 64 shit rhymes. Do your own thing. Be yourself and try and do something that's individual, not just what everybody else is doing because there's too many chat shit MCs and they think it's all about, oh, i got to do another rhyme, another 64 bar rhyme. On your bike, mate. I used to just sit there and rock out to beats and get off my pickle and just get back to basics. Excellent advice. Yes. Excellent advice. And your, your thoughts? Musical bumps, uh, backwards raving, uh, sit down, jam clams. Yeah, jam clams, jam out with your camera. Yeah, like, just be real and just be like, you know, back in the 90s. All the best music was in the 90s. 90s. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Kev's cool. He's doing little Kev. Little Kev's cool and. Like, he's doing his thing and, and like, Kev's the boy. Um, he's running his studio in Deepest Kent, all right? Yeah, my lover in Deepest Kent. Um, and, and uh, you know, I spoke to him last week and he's happy and he's doing the odd gig like me because I suppose when it's something such a big part of your life, and I do like, you know, I, I, I've done 65 hours this week and, and it's been quite tough at points this week. Like, I'm still a human being and I still, this is what I like to do. It isn't about like, oh, I want to go out and have meals. I do all that kind of stuff, but being honest, like, I want to go out and enjoy myself. Yeah, yeah. so do we all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you so much. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed being here tonight, mate. I have actually, yeah, it's been nice. It's been good fun. Nice. And we got to wear each other's clothes. Yes. Nice, it's so gay. We love you, plus 12. Call you John Brown and the legend that is Sharky. Thanks, man. Matt Damon. <laughs>